Alright, in this video I'm going to go through removing uh, and replacing the LCD panel on this laptop. The LCD panel has been cracked, so I'm going to replace it with a new one. Uh, the tools you'll need are uh, a pick or something that can get under these little rubber things. And you'll also need uh, a special, it's not really special, but it's just a Torx head. It's not security Torx or anything like that. Bit. That looks like that. Looks like a star, kind of. Um, but it's not a star because star star bits have five points and these have six. Uh, anyway, you'll need a special toolkit like this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and take off all of these little rubber pieces surrounding the uh, LCD. Those are screw covers. So go ahead and take those off. All right, once you've got the four corner uh, rubber pieces off, you can go ahead, take your uh, Torx driver, and remove these. Now, with this kind of, uh, it's, because it's not a normal Phillips head, just make sure that you're putting proper pressure on the driver when you're trying to remove them, because um, they can be a little bit easier to strip, especially if you're not using the exact size uh, for the screws. Okay, so take those off. Okay, the next thing you want to do is take this, pry this piece up like I did. Uh, the way that, if the screen's already broken, you don't have to worry too much about touching the screen. So you can go ahead and kind of hook your fingers under and just gently work it back and forth. And that will get the bottom off. Um, if your screen is not broken and you're opening this for some other reason, a good way to do it is to lift up on the corners and use a right angled pick like this to pry up. What you want to do is get as close to uh, the little teeth that hook into the bottom part as you can and pry up at that because if you use the leverage of the thickness of the bezel to pull on it, you're more likely to break the little tabs. So go ahead and do that and kind of work your way up and remove the bezel. Okay, working around the bezel, I found the best way to do it is to use your kind of th use your thumbs and pry out like on the edges like this until you get up to here. Once you get up to here, grab a hold of it like this and you can pop the top part out like that. So you want to work your way from the insides all the way up to the middle until you get to the top and you can just pop it out like that. And there's your bezel. Alright, so once you all right. So once you've taken off your bezel, you're going to notice that this back part is one piece and the screen is connected by two arms that reach up and hold the screen. So you can see if I do this, that it kind of separates. Okay. Now the way you disconnect that is by the four lower screws, two on this side and two on this side. So go ahead and remove those four screws. They are normal Phillips head screws. Alright, so when you remove those four screws, this is going to drop off. So you want to make sure you're holding it when you take out that last screw. But it is okay, just uh, kind of lay it down a little bit and you'll be able to see that it's separated. Now what's, what's holding, what's connecting it here, is there's a cable that runs up right behind this that's taped onto the back of the LCD. So the way you want to remove that, go like this, so it's not straining the cables. Okay, I'll see if I can get this in here. Okay, so you can see right there is where the cable is connected. The way you're going to take this off is you're going to remove the tape strip. Be really careful, especially if your LCD still works and for some other reason you're taking it apart, but re be really careful if you use a pick to do this because you could puncture the back or something like that, so don't do that. Um, but take off this piece of tape and then you'll be able to remove the cable. Alright, so this is just a close-up shot of the connector. You'll see that this piece of tape is how you can pull the ribbon off. It just pulls straight that way, so straight down. Push it straight down, okay? Uh, and then you'll be able to remove the LCD. All right, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is remove the LCD from the arms. Now the way you do this is just disconnect the three screws on each side holding the arms to the LCD. 
Now these are actually normal Phillips head screws, so you'll be able to easily just remove them like this. And keep these separate because these are a different size than the other ones, so you're going to want to be able to know which ones you've got. So I'm going to keep those ones on the right side here. All right. These are the two screens. This is the one that I just removed, and this is my new panel. Uh, what you're going to want to look at, not sure actually if it's going to be clear enough, but you want to match the model number right there, and make sure you get the same model number, okay? Uh, now, it doesn't, they don't necessarily have to be like HP Elite 8440p LCDs. Um, you need to just make sure that your old number matches the one that you're buying because a lot of times there will be you know Dell's that use the same one, Sony's that use the same one, something like that uh, so just make sure you're getting the same model number uh, the most important things obviously are the dimensions and then the connector other ones might work but honestly uh, I would just get the same model number so that you don't run into any issues uh, with minute spec changes all right, so what you want to do is go ahead and mount the new LCD in with these six screws. One thing you want to note is that on the bottom, I don't know if you can see it here, this has to hook underneath kind of to fit in. So when you're like moving this back and forth, make sure you don't bend this um, or break any pieces. Kind of try and move them together and that will avoid that. Uh, the way you want to, let's see if you can see this. The way you want to do this connector is you want to grab a hold of the tape and hold it. Yeah, you can see it. Hold it with your finger like this so that when you go to pull it up into the connector, you've got downward pressure to make sure that it fully seats. And once you've got it fully seated, don't forget to put on this other piece of tape that was there because if you don't put this piece of tape on, it seems stupid, but if you don't put this piece of tape on, um, in a week or a month later you'll start to see lines on your LCD and it'll be caused by this piece wiggling out as you open up and down uh, the screen so just make sure everything goes back in the way you found it alright so go ahead and replace the lower four screws now note that um, the these are Phillips head screws going back in here and you're gonna wanna have them in this hole, this hole, this hole, and this hole they're actually marked on the little arms, there's little triangles above the right ones. You want to leave this one empty because that's the one that the bezel uh, goes into. So once you've got all that back in there, you go ahead. I'm going to start at the top. You want to be pretty gentle with the bezel. Uh, the more you take this off, the more chance that the plastic tabs will break, obviously because it's just plastic, so they get flexed um, every time you take it off. So this is the first time this has been on here, so I'm just going to reuse it. Okay. So watch out because there are cables. Um, if one of the cables gets in the way of the little arm, you can just kind of push it out of the way. And uh, then reseat this. Okay. So just try and be gentle on this vessel. Kind of run your fingers around, make sure it's on there correctly. And then go ahead and replace these four screws. Don't over tighten these because you'll break the bezel.
Okay, and once you've got these in here, go ahead and stick on the screw covers and you're all set.